Hey everybody, Maxion here from TabletRoms.com, and uh, I'm going to go over some of the news from the past week or so that you might have missed that I think's worth a second look. First and foremost happens to be a breakthrough in fiber optics. You see, we broke the Kerr non-linearity limit. Isn't that amazing? Well, I suppose it is. I think it is. Um, you see, in any fiber optic cable, you need to push data through, of course. But as you're pushing more data through, or at least as you're putting more power behind the signal that you're pushing through, um, you get interference from the rest of the fiber optic cable, so that creates noise and reduces the, you know, signal strength, essentially. Well, it so happened that uh, some pretty smart cookies um, decided to use a technique very similar to the noise cancellation in your headphones to the data that they shoot through the fiber optic cable by using a sort of mirror image um, of the same signal. And when it gets to the end point, uh, comparing the two, well, even though this is a pretty simple tactic, nobody had really ever tried it before. And as such, what happened is they succeeded in being able to um, quadruple the speed of the signal that could go through a fiber optic cable, which is a terrific advancement because, as you know, fiber optic cable um, requires a lot of, shall we say, expenditure on infrastructure. So anything that increases that really makes everybody in a much better way. So that's a really cool news item. Um, and uh, I encourage you to check out the links in the description so that you can look a bit more into it, into it yourself. The actual article has a, you know, has a, a lot of really cool math bits in it, but, um, but there's plenty of stuff for everybody, but it's a really cool development. Another thing that's very interesting is that the Wikipad, the seven inch Wikipad, um, as those of you who've been following my channel for a little while know, um, I was actually at the uh, red carpet event last June um, in Los Angeles when they debuted it. Um, then it was a 10 inch tablet that they were going for and then they changed over to a seven inch tablet. But uh, the word on the street is that it's coming out pretty soon. Last week it happened to um, show up at the FCC so it's pretty close. And also on their Twitter page on the 25th, they mentioned that it was uh, pretty close to uh, being released. So fingers crossed. I'm actually really excited for a good affordable tablet with a controller so that I can play some of the um, games that go a lot better with a controller. Now there is a tablet called the Claris Companion, which uh, you know, which I only just recently heard about, and it's supposed to be a tablet designed specifically for seniors. Now, um, unfortunately, their website isn't exactly the most informative, so uh, details are still just a little bit on the scarce side, but it uh, seems to be pretty good. Uh, this kind of appeals to me because um, on a fairly regular basis, I have uh, older members of my family asking me to help them figure out how to do stuff on their iPads and such. And uh, for anybody who has that sort of a problem, this might be something interesting to take a look at. Um, they demonstrate a lot of functionality such as uh, uh, reminders for older people to take their medication. Um, and also you can kind of follow them, not quite in real time, uh, from your own devices to make sure that, you know, Nana's taking her meds or things like that. Um, this does have some great potential for some of the uh, older people, especially because they've seemed to simplified things down quite a bit. But only time will tell. Last thing I want to go over is how really awesome independent developers are. For example, on the 24th of uh, this past month, the Cero 7 tablets uh, you know, were announced. On the 25th, they started showing up in the stores, and by the 27th, we wound up getting a guy over at XDA Developers um, putting up a, a very simply simple root script. Um, and then a day later, followed by a ROM, a custom ROM for it, and then uh, the day after, a way for you to be able to develop your own ROM with the types of things that you want for the Cero 7 Pro. So, uh, just really fun because it seems like very often the people who put together and send out a tablet, it takes them months to try and work an update, but you throw it in the hands of an independent developer, just somebody who's doing it for fun, and he'll get it in a couple of days. Anyhow, that being said, these are some of the cool news items for the week, and we'll see you soon.